I'd like to walk you through the three websites that I've asked you to look at during this module. Um, the first is an evaluation toolkit for software. And I really like this site that you're seeing on the screen that, that came from um, New Zealand, an online learning center in New Zealand. And I think they've done just a fabulous job of putting it together and it should be really useful to you. Um, it divides, it uses the acronym software support for technical stuff. So if you're looking at a piece of software, is there support for technical part of it? Is there organization of content? Does it facilitate learning? Um, what are the theories and theorists behind it? What skills are promoted? Assessment? How, did, how is learning and teaching assessed? Um, what's the role of the learner? And um, how could this software be extended? And these are elements that help you decide um, whether a particular piece of software is right for you. You can download the toolkit or you can complete it online and print out your results and I think that's a really nice way to do it. So I'm going to scroll down and as we look support for technical stuff. So I'm looking at a piece of software and I decide is this software already available in our school? Let's just talk about um, well, actually, let's talk about this one that I'm using to record this. I'm using a piece of software called I Show You. It's I and then capital A S H O W and then lowercase U. Um, and what it does is a screen capture and it records movement on the screen and records audio as you go too. Um, so let's talk about that software. Is it readily available in our school already? It wasn't, so I, I purchased it individually. I looked for something that would uh, work for me, and it's not readily available, so I can't click yes on this. Do the licensing copyright conditions mean you have the right to use the software on a number of computers? No, actually it doesn't. It's, this is a one computer license. Um, I think it's $29, but um, it, it um, does not. I can't use it on others, so I can't click yes there. Is the price of the software affordable for your school? Well, if you had this type of software in the school, you probably wouldn't have it in an entire lab. You might have it on a few teacher machines. So I'm going to say yes on that because if, if it were less than $100 to put it on three teacher machines and, and have them get started, I think that's worth it. Is there a trial period? Yes, there actually is. So I can try it out and decide if this is not going to work. So I want to click that. Is this compatible with our current operating system? Um, in this case it is, so um, I'll click there. Are you able to contact a school who's currently using this software? Now that's an important thing. Um, we've seen in Oklahoma lots of schools um, putting in student information systems because they're required to, but um, it's there's all these user groups that are, that are um, popping up everywhere. There's a PowerSchool user group that I'm on, I happen to be on their listserv, and so I, it's really nice because they have all that support um, across districts, and typically it's technology coordinators who are responsible for that, so they have that user group. So that's one thing I'd really want to see is who else is using the software. Okay, the content. Is the content accurate and up-to-date in this particular software? This one doesn't actually have content, it's more of a tool. So if it were another type of software, I would take a hard look at the content and see how up to date it was and if it's appropriate from a reliable source, free from bias. Can you navigate? Yes, I thought this software was easy to navigate. There really needs to be a column here for not applicable. There's not, but if you print out the PDF, you may want to add that yourself. What we're more worried about is the content of how to evaluate software. Is it appealing to use? Well, no, it's not really, but it's usable. So I'll, I'll not click yes. Um, are there a variety of activities that are age appropriate and adaptable to different levels? I would say this is quite adaptable to different levels. I really probably should have just skipped this whole content section on a productivity tool like this, but most software you'll be looking at um, within it in a um, school organization is either going to fit into educational with content in it or a productivity type tool. 
Okay, do the aims of the software program support your school culture goals charter? I'm going to say they do because one thing that it, at OSU at least we're trying to really improve how we deliver online and, and learning at a distance. So I would say yes, that this does uh, facilitate that goal. Will your school need to be provided with minimal additional professional guidance? Um, I really don't think we're going to, we'd need a lot. I think it's pretty uh, easy to use and self-explanatory, so I'm not going to click that. Is the software versatile enough to use as a tool? Absolutely. And does it allow the teacher to be a facilitator of learning? And I would say yes, because you really could get students involved um, in, in having them do a screencast of what they, uh, what they want to show on their, on their screen. Um, so yeah, I think I, it can make me facilitator or lecturer. Theories and theorists. Are there professional reviews available about this type of software? There are, and I looked um, through quite a few that compared different types of tools that were this video screen capture. Um, support a variety of learning theories? Yes, I think it could. Because, again, in behaviorist mode, here I am delivering a lecture. Constructivist, I might turn it around and say, you guys use this software to produce a screencast. Is it process driven? Um, yes, you can learn skills while using. There's um, public speaking skills that I'm clearly not very good at, but there's uh, different skills that you could check off those pass list if you were using this. Does this software function as a 2T, a tutor, or a tool? And I'm going to say tool on that one. And then what skills are promoted? risk-taking, creative thinking, yeah, it kind of depends probably on how you define risk-taking, but I'm going to go with yes. Um, problem solving, uh, there's always problems to solve with software tools. Opportunities to work independently, yes, you can do that, yes, okay. Does it allow students to be extended regardless of age, yes. Learning outcomes, there really aren't learning outcomes, so I'm going to leave that blank. Um, monitor student progress, not really. Guidelines for next step, uh, software provide immediate feedback. And those, those don't really fit this particular tool, so I'm going to leave them blank. Will it engage? I think so. Um, yes, yes. Software provide authentic context or task? Yes. Special needs? Um, this could be very effective for somebody who, um, yeah, I can see it really uh, benefiting um, a learner who needed some differentiated instruction that was slow, maybe a slower pace um, or repeated. So if a teacher um, goes through some lesson, they could do it on this and, and have that video file to go back to. Um, yes, yes, yes. And then think critically, question, research. Well, it can. It depends on how the teacher puts it in the student's hands. Is there a user-friendly manual? I have to admit that I don't know. I didn't look at the manual yet. I just downloaded this yesterday and, and gave it a whirl, but I haven't looked at the manual. I'm assuming there are because there was a lot of online discussion about this particular tool. Are there resources available? No. Um, links? Um, I, I think that probably doesn't fit this tool, so I'll leave it blank. Help option? Yes. Are you easily contact? Yeah, yes. Incorporate features of the software into an existing software? And actually, yes, and this one works with QuickTime. So what I did when I downloaded it is gave it a try. It immediately pops up in a quick time as a quick time movie, and then I uploaded that to YouTube. So this seems to answer that question. So then I hit the submit button, and here's what I get: a nice little um, checklist of the questions that were asked and the things I checked yes on. So if you and what school does have a whole bunch of money? If you're looking at different software programs and you want to take a look at what's the best for our needs, here's a great way to go through and take a piece of software, use this tool, and determine which one is best for your need at the time. 
Okay, that's a software for learning website for evaluating software.